let's talk about why it's important to maintain at least three months of operating expenses in your business bank account. We talked about the importance of having a three to six month cushion in your business bank account should the unthinkable happen and you're not able to generate revenue. But let's dig deeper into why that's important. Because those overhead expenses are more than just numbers. While these expenses don't directly help you generate sales, they're the foundation that allows you to be able to have the ability to generate those sales. So if you don't have that cushion to cover those overhead expenses, it could be detrimental to your business when you're able to return to operating again. Let's take a look at some of the common overhead expenses for most businesses. Advertising and marketing. You can't pump the brakes on advertising and marketing. For a lot of businesses, there's a direct correlation between the dollars they spend on ads and their revenue generated. If you're relying on more traditional advertising on the radio, billboards, TV, you're likely locked into a deal for a period of time regardless of whether or not you can facilitate those sales transactions. Luckily, Google and Facebook ads are easy to stop and start as needed. This is an important expense for your business that probably can't afford to be cut. Auto expenses, and these won't go away either. If you don't pay your car payment, you'll be left without a car, which probably won't be helpful to generate income once you're able to again. Your auto insurance will still be due as usual as well, regardless of how often you drive. Business insurance, whether it's liability insurance, health insurance, or workers' comp insurance, you can count on your insurance being due and you know you need to pay that in case anything goes wrong. There is no avoiding that should something happen where you aren't able to generate income. Interest. If you have loan payments that you need to make on a monthly basis, remember the principal portion of those payments isn't reflected on your P&L, since the pay down of principal is not a business expense. Only interest payments are expenses. So your actual cash outflow will be higher than what's reflected in your overhead expenses. You have to continue to make your loan payments, which include an interest portion. Otherwise, the bank will likely come after whatever collateral you use to secure that loan. And there's no negotiating these loan payments. Office supplies. This is one area you might be able to spend less on. Depending on what you consider an office expense, you should be able to cut some of those costs if you're not able to generate income for whatever reason. Payroll and payroll taxes. And you still need your employees, right? Well, maybe not now, but you'll need them whenever the business is back up and operational. So you need to keep paying them. And along with the wages that you're paying them, also factor in about 10 to 12% in payroll taxes that you'll have in addition to their wages. Rent. If you don't have a place to return to operate the business, how will you generate income? Landlords are unforgiving and most will not cut you a break if you're having a rough month or if you can't work. And even if they do cut you a break, that just means that your future payments will be that much higher to catch up. So this is an important expense that you need to make sure you can cover for a few months, just in case. Software and subscriptions. The software you use to run your business is important. The dependence your company has on the software you use is probably a stronger relationship than you imagine it would be. Whatever tech stack you're working with is likely a strong component of how efficient your processes are and how professional you look to customers and clients. Utilities. These can be directly related to the space you're renting, like water, electricity, gas, but this can also include internet, security, and other related expenses. You have to continue to pay your utilities even if you can't operate. Otherwise, they won't be available for you to use when you're able to operate again. My point being, each and every expense in your profit and loss, regardless of whether it's directly related to you making a sale or not, is really important for its own reason. And if you did this analysis and realized you don't need certain expenses, get rid of them. If they're not helpful to your business, eliminate them and save yourself the cash. But assuming they're all really important to the success of the business, if you don't pay them, they're just going to snowball and create massive amounts of work and headaches to untangle the mess or to pivot in another direction. And you can't let that happen to something you work so hard for. So make it a goal to always have a few extra months set aside in the business bank account. 
Forget it's even there and you'll be a better business owner for it. And once you get really good, each year you can increase that cushion by an extra month to continue saving more and more. If you found this video helpful, we're real accountants and CPAs who work with hundreds of small business owners just like you every day. Check us out at EngageCPAs.com to see if we're a good fit for your business. We also have business courses available to help small business owners understand their business. They're for you to learn about your financials, your taxes, how to pick the right entity, tax myths, and everything else about your business. Learn at your own pace. Check those courses out on the Education tab on our website. You can also find us on Instagram at EngageCPAs.